As the story is told, Elvis cradled me in his arms because I was a little kid, and I have no memory of it ever happening Amazing. whatsoever. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is a new setting, new day, new location, same brother, same, same sister. My question is, um, you've always said to me, always, your mom and I had a very special relationship. Oh. And I know you still do, but would you give us some, would you talk to us just a little yeah, bit about Yeah, I mean, why? there's this weird component of your mom. She used to show up at our house when we were like this tall. Mm. Um, and my mom didn't resent her, if you can imagine. And and tell us the backstory of why she would resent her, because I don't think... Oh, because be she was very young and vivacious, and my mom, although was quite the looker, was a little bit older and just didn't, I, I, I don't know why, but that, and our that, dad basically dad, dad fell in love with Michelle. Right. Your mother was married to our father before he met my mother. There you go. Does that make any sense? Yeah. And so that's why she might have been a bit threatened because well, he ended it, it up running be, off with Michelle. Right. Exactly. I mean, most women would have gone you know, held up their middle finger and say, I never want to see you again and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And she didn't. In fact, um, Mitchie used to show up at our house. Michelle. Mitchie. Michelle. And I mean, I just have this memory of them drinking Cherokee D cough syrup together. What? <laughs> to catch a little buzz. Stop yeah. Stop it. I, why not wine? Why not? Just go for the cough syrup. I can't. That's just what I remember. And that uh, is really... they would talk. and, But, you know, more important than that, uh, before the Mamas and Papas became successful, Dad was a folk singer, but your mom was really sweet to me all the time. Uh, Michelle and I never had harsh words. We lived together predominantly at the uh, penthouse at the Chateau Marmont. Really? Yeah. So that See, was all of this I never knew. After the success, I was very fond of BB guns in those days. I remember and, this. Right. Michelle wasn't very fond of me having them, but Dad was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so... <laughs> There was a Marlboro Man, uh, you know, right poster. above Sunset. You know where it is, poster mm -hmm. advertisement. And I would... Ding, 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 no, ding, right ding, out the window? Out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And I would shoot his eyes out and his, no. his nose and his face. And then we got <laughs> at the door, right? And it was the FBI. Stop. The FBI saying, someone's shooting BBs outside this window. And oh it's got to stop. And they said, yeah, that's our son. I'm sorry. And one time... Uh, I shut a car door. I, I remember dad, it was the only time, well, there were two times he punched me. The second time was totally ju uh, justified. But I had slammed the door, the corner of the door into Michelle's leg. Ooh. And it had put like, you know, a giant gash into her. It, it, it wasn't just a gash, it was like a deep wound. Ouch. You know, like a deep flesh wound. And he just looked at me and he went, pow. And, right in the uh, face? That's what I remember. Oh my goodness. Maybe we had some words, I'm not sure. It was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. do. Yeah, well, do. I don't think that justifies ch punching your child in the face. <laughs> no, he probably slapped me, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I tend to talk to Michelle like every couple months. Mm -hmm. And I talked to her about two months ago, and it was just, there was no business. Ordinarily, we have some business disagreement, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There was no disagreement whatsoever. Aww. It was just a sweet talk about memories mm -hmm. from Bella. She gets very choked up these days when she talks about the past yeah. and about how much she loves us all. She She's very emotional. It's sweet. As she's aged, wouldn't you say mom's gotten more emotional? Hey, don't look at me. I'm not even here. Okay. Actually, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Jeffrey, China. Hey, Bill. Hi. This, I'm not videotaping. I'm just shooting some stills. Keep talking. Oh, okay. Didn't Punch. I just pay for you to be on my show? So this is it? This is, if you want to do it now, I'll do it now. Okay. Okay. So hasn't it been nice to see famous Jeffrey? Yes, yes. The legendary it's... Jeffrey Phillips? Yeah. I'm the, I guess I'm the one kid in the family who... <laughs> so, by the way, I just woke up. <laughs> so there's Mac, uh, Mackenzie, you, and China, and Tamerlane, who all inherited... You and China would be the same person. But anyways, go Bijou on. and Tamerlane. Bijou and Tamerlane, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a way. You never saw Mamas and Papas live. 
Right. You ever heard them sing in the studio? Nothing. You oh, never totally. You did? Are you kidding that's, me? That's, I grew that's up like, I grew up in the recording studio with dad. That's meaty stuff. Tell us I, you remember I, seeing my mom and dad in the studio? Totally. Stop. And Cass, you were everybody? Like, you everybody, were about twelve. Yeah. Nine, no, 12, I was nine. nine I was nine. nine and ten. Yeah, no, I got invited to the studio a lot. I remember Lou being there at the board. I remember Bones Howe, who's like a legendary ed engineer and became a really good producer in his own right. I remember they sounded beautiful, and I went. I remember they went on like forever the sessions. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I remember before People Like Us, which was a terrible contractual album that they had to do. <laughs> Uh, I remember the four of them, we took a ride over to Cass's house and I, I remember the four of them sitting around the coffee table warming up and uh, yeah, I have... That's amazing. Yeah, I have lots of fun. Did memories. you have any conversations with Cass or not really? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Any all, stories all about Cass? Uh, just that it was like, she was my big aunt who would always give me this big Aww. hug and give me a big kiss and say, how are you? And yeah. I always felt like there was a... Sometimes it was a spoken love, but we really loved each other. Did she have a powerful presence? Very powerful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. She had, some people have a vibration that goes out 20 feet ahead of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. and they're, like, hers was very sweet. And yeah, they, it. she had it, major it factor. I mean, yeah, it was just sure. something the way you take the individual parts and you're saying, how did it add it's the the, the 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 whole is greater than the sum of the parts in a weird way and the the parts are all amazing mm -hmm. her style her look her weight mm -hmm. her you know her beauty her charisma yeah her unbelievably powerful voice i mean i think her her voice i don't know denny had a really beautiful voice too i'm sad denny passed away i can't believe my mom's the only surviving member of the group isn't that amazing it's just bizarre to yeah. me. It really is. How did you feel when dad passed? It was uh, kind of blank. Really? I mean, I loved him very much, wow. but I already firmly believed in the next world. And yes. so I'm never that sad when people pass because I, I know where they're going. I know. Uh, all I felt for him was love. That's what I did too. That is, and, and then uh, something happened. Uh, the nurse said, would you like a lock of his hair? And I said, oh yeah. And so she snipped a little bit of his hair off and I still have it. Wow. Yeah, you told me that before. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. yeah, I thanked him for all the beach walks that we took together in Malibu. Right. Right. And I thanked him for writing songs with me because he used to put me on his lap and we'd write songs together. Mm -hmm. And then we'd, we'd pose in front of the mirror and pretend we were doing a record cover and like, what would our record cover look like? And oh, that's so cute. He used to take yeah. me in his Rolls Royce down PCH and he'd go over the he'd bumps. He'd do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He'd go over the bumps on PCH and I used to always say, go on the bumps, go on the bumps. And, he, you know, even though he'd take me to the coffee shop in the colony and we'd have the breakfast. The coffee shop. Same thing. Right? Yeah. So my dad, when we lived in Bel Air, he took me down Westwood Boulevard to Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to a beautiful pastry shop and, mm -hmm. and had pastry together in mm -hmm. his Rolls He loved Royce. croissants and yeah. blueberries. He always yeah, loved yeah, yeah. blueberries. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. I remember you. I don't remember that. He always but I. I do remember his bologna sandwiches and yeah. stuff like that. I told And ketchup on his eggs. Bologna. Yeah. He always had ketchup on his eggs. Yeah. He turned me on to that. Anyway, he was one of the world's finest composers. And I think this is best summarized by Andrew Lou Goldman. And he said, uh, John Phillips' songwriting was the first real answer to the British invasion. Mm. Come on. He actually said that? He said that. And he said that he took the mantle of uh, the king of pop away from the Beatles and took it off the mantle of Europe and put it on the mantle of America. Oh my goodness, that isn't, is isn't saying that a I'm, lot. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. I'll never forget at uh, when dad won, uh, what's it called, the biggest award you can win? The Grammys? No, no, it's bigger than that. It's, uh, it's the biggest award, it happened in like 2000. Nobel Peace Prize? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Hall of Fame Award when they got inducted. Right. Do you ever remember hearing the Mamas and Papas on the radio? Oh I mean, God! When you were a All kid, the time really? it didn't matter when you turned on the radio. There was California Dreaming or Monday Monday or I saw you know I saw her again came out in '68. But mm -hmm. yeah, there were Mamas and Papas songs like on all the time. It blew my mind. Every third song was a Mamas and Papas song. Wow because they were number one for like almost 
a history in Billboard 100. Mm -hmm. They were number one for like almost a historical run. It was like months and months and months. Wow. Yeah. And you actually remember that being in the car and listening to the song, their songs on the I radio. Do. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. And I remember them breaking. I up. mean, it's one thing to hear them now, yeah. but to hear them in real time when they were right. really big, that's kind of yeah. cool. And Dad would, get, yes, Dad would get his acoustic guitar at the Pink House in Bel Air, and he would just start playing, mm -hmm. uh, and we would have parties all night just listening to him play and mm. sing and as you know he'd sing you sing this part you sing you know ah uh, ah uh, yeah, uh, you know he'd always then, give somebody a harmony right and then we'd all sing it together and go that sounds so beautiful <laughs> yeah. and uh one time i went into the room at uh, saint pierre road and there was a trumpet sitting there and i go what's this he goes oh i can you know i can play a little bit I picked up a trumpet and just would bring tears to your eyes, how really? beautifully he could play this trumpet. Mm. So he was known as a man who could sit at a keyboard, pick up a guitar, pick up any instrument, it didn't matter what it was, and just make beautiful music come out of it. Mm -hmm. As well as, you know, a genius uh, songwriter in the form of harmony. Yeah, yeah, he really was. He was yeah. right up there with Brian Wilson. I yeah. think that Brian Wilson is sort of in crowned, yeah, you know, I have to the say, harmony genius. No one, no, nobody no, can, nobody compare. touches Brian. I'm yeah. Sorry, but, but number two, <laughs> number two could easily be said, John Phillips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I remember dad escorted me, obviously, I remember to the mm -hmm. Grammys. Yeah. And that was really, really special. Oh, okay. So that, when was, six, I was, that was 66. No, when I was nominated for, for oh, Grammys oh, with oh, Wilson oh, Phillips. Oh, oh, okay. He was my date. Oh, that's so sweet. And, I didn't, what year was that? And he got me, it was 1992, or 92, yeah, 92, and he got me a bracelet that had, it was all gold, and it had four gold records on it, and each one had a different number one hit on it. To weigh I have closet. a memory that I think you would really like. Yes. We drove to Palm Springs, right? Yes. And, and we're kids. We're, Laura and I are just kids. Mackenzie and I are kids. And we go up to this guy's, we knock, knock on the door, and Frank Sinatra answers. No. And I recognized, you know, I from you know, I'd seen movies and I go, but I hadn't ascribed any special, you know, like like, you know, oh it's Frank Sinatra, you yeah, know, yeah, none yeah, of that yeah. kind of stuff. Any yeah. any of that. he had a theater inside of his house, of course, and uh, he put on this it was sixteen millimeter with sound of African Queen. And we watched African Queen together that movie. sitting in his theater chairs and we spent the night. Oh my God! And then also, you know, Dad and uh, Elvis used to like to ride motorcycles together. So really, did you see Echoes in the Canyon? Oh, I love it. Yeah, you did. You really liked I it. I completely love. I I think Jacob did a great job. I do too. Um, you know, with with the and he's easy yeah. on the eyes. Sorry, yeah. honey. One time, I got to <laughs> tell you, me and China and probably some other girls are on a text message string. They were all trying to figure out who, which one of them, Jacob, was most in love with. Eventually, China won, hands down. I She's, did. You know what you, do you remember what you said? No. We were competing over who? What, yeah, who would, who Jacob Dylan would, would you know, which Phillips girl he would go for. Be attracted yeah. to. You said, leave us alone, we're busy. <laughs> <laughs> like it had already happened. No, like, like it was happening. It was we're, happening. We're busy, in the moment. Yeah, we're busy yeah. right now. Uh, so, you've always kind of had a crush on him. You love, you love his music, and you love Jacob that Dylan. Record. I love the Wallflowers. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a great album. You know who else inherited his father's in, in the most brilliant way is Ziggy Marley. Yes. If you've never heard Ziggy Marley, no, he's music, brilliant. And uh, there's lots of them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when Cass died? This is the last question. Do you, sure. You do remember. Yeah, I kind of remember, okay, when Cass died... Cass was, what, 33, 34, 32? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember a lot of sadness around the house and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do remember. And I also remember that sweet picture of uh, Dad and Michelle arm in arm, mm -hmm. even though I know they yeah. were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And, uh, At the funeral? Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful picture. Yeah, and... Um, you know, she was a great lady, mm -hmm. and uh, I love her with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And today, this day, to this day, I want you to know, Dad visits me every day. Does he? All of a sudden, I'll hear one of his songs, and I'll go, yep, it's you. Every day? Every day. Wow. I started you to happen today. You must listen to a lot of radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, you said. I know it's hard for you to believe that it's That didn't true. count, by the way. Bye, Billy. I love you.
I'm just packing up. What are you okay. going to do here? I'm, I'm, We're I'm, leaving in five. I'm doing the laundry. I'm doing the dishes. I'm making the bed. I'm taking your suitcases to the car. I mean, and I'm running our YouTube channel. Where's your skirt? Okay. That's so, apron. so um, let's wrap it up on a good note. What can I ask you? Um, positive note. Um, How about your time here this weekend with your favorite thing in the world called family? Yeah, I mean, I had a great, great time here this week. Are you weekend. coming back for Christmas? Yes, I am coming back. But it can be really intimidating. This family is like... No, why? <laughs> I don't okay. get it at all. All right. I love you, China. <laughs> I love you, Let's too, end on so that. much. I know. God bless you. Peace of Christ. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Peace of Christ, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Peace of Christ. I bow to the great Lord. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Hey, you guys, if this video blessed you in any way, I pray that you will subscribe. And I also pray that you'll press that little button next to the subscribe because that is an alert button and it will give you a notification every single time there's a brand new Cal Preach. And of course, share because sharing is caring and you just never know who's going to find the peace of Christ. Amen. Yeah.